Hey everyone, Michelle Gilmartin here, and this is a never, another Fun Friday Skin and Cut fun project. So I'm going to make a little embossed tag. Um, you can do this on a card. I just happen to have this glitter paper, and so I cut out some tags. And I'm going to begin. So I'm, I need um, some uh, embossing glitter. I need my small, small barrel pen holder because my glue pen is smaller than the universal pen holder. And then to set it and make it really pretty, I am going to need a heat set gun. So I'm going to begin with my universal pen holder in the open position. And this is the small barrel one because my glue pen's a little skinny. And I'm going to drop my glue pen in. It puts it in the right position. Then I'm going to pull the knob up and set it so that now my pen is in the correct position. All right, so now that I've got my pen, my glue pen in there, I'm going to put my glue pen down here in my cartridge holder and make sure it's all the way down. All right. And I've got my pattern over here up for a built-in snowflake. So I'm just going to select OK and OK and set. And I'm going to scan my mat now so that I can place my snowflake right on um, my card. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over and I'm going to change my background a little bit here so that I can really see where I'm putting my snowflake. Let's get it bigger here. It's going to be really pretty, I think. Okay. So um, I have my glue pen in there, so I'm going to select draw. And it's a two minute draw, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And my glue pen is, um, I have a clear glue pen, is going to actually put down um, some glue on the top of my card, and then I'm going to cover it with embossing powder. All right, so now I'm going to take my carefully take my little card off and um, remove my glue pen so that I can put the cap back on it so it doesn't dry out. There we go. And I can barely see my glue on there, so I'm going to take my little card and put it on top of a pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle the glitter over the top of it. And you want to put enough to coat it, um, and then the excess we're just going to shake it, shake off. Ooh, we can see it starting to develop there. So, I'm going to dust that off. Now, if you there's more there than you need, or you've got a, a so just tap it to get the excess off, because you want to get the excess off. And if there's a place where you feel like it needs more, you can always put a little more glue, a little bit more powder there. 
Um, and then the rest of this can go back in the jar. All right, so. All right, I wanna to try to give you a little bit of a close up with this. Even if we let the glue dry, this is actually pretty cool just the way it is. But I really, if you hit it with the hot, um, the hot heat gun, then it gets kind of a plasticky look to it. And it's really, it gets kind of 3D. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, this heat gun just has one temperature. And you can kind of, as it's, as it's heating up, you can kind of um, see the 3D starting to develop. Ooh, right here especially you can see it now you can see it begin to change color a little bit And there it is. You can kind of see from the side that it actually gets kind of a 3D look to it. And it's really pretty. It's like a crystallized look to it. So um, I can use it for a hang tag. You could even do this on a card. Um, you know, you could even do it on fabric, I suppose, because it, as long as the fabric could take the heat, it's all uh, from the heat gun. It's all good. So um, another fun project, all of my um, supplies. So I use the small barrel pen holder because my glue pen uh, was too small for, too skinny for the universal pen holder. I got my glue pens and my embossing powder and my hot gun on Amazon.